Welcome back and happy Friday, Junior, as we like to call it here on Daybreak. So temperatures outside right now kind of ranging just depending on where you are. If you're closer to the coast, a little bit cooler. And then some of those inland valleys, coastal valleys, definitely on the warmer side. If you take a look at those right now, you can see for San Luis Obispo, it's still actually pretty hot out there for this hour. Cooled down a little bit in the overnight hours, more so than yesterday. But we're still kind of right around the upper 70s. You can see for areas right around the coastline, your Gaviota, even Vandenberg, we're right around the upper 50s. But what can we expect by 9 o'clock this morning? So 82 for San Luis Obispo, mid-70s for both Paso, Cambria, same thing for Santa Maria, as well as Solvang. Talking about this smoke forecast, so this is a major concern in our forecast today. You can see here this morning, it's still continuing to just blanket the central coast, and it's indicated to be a little bit heavier by those areas you're seeing in pink and orange as well. Looking ahead to that 10 o'clock hour, you can see it really does persist as it continues to move down the coastline here. And we're going to see a similar trend early tomorrow morning. So it doesn't like it look like it's going anywhere just yet. But I wanted to show you the wind forecast next because these northwesterly winds are really helping the smoke push into the area here. That's what's causing it to really come into the central coast. And as far as the winds go today, sustaining winds, maybe five to 10 miles per hour, not too bad. Increase a little bit more by this afternoon heading into this evening, but we're going to see that same trend by the afternoon hours where those winds start to pick up. So here's a look at the peak wind gusts in the forecast today ranging from about 15 to 20 miles per hour here. It is possible we could see those winds get up to about 25 miles per hour as well. Air quality alert still in effect through early tomorrow morning. And as a reminder, if you have any pre-existing health conditions, if you're just sensitive to that particulate matter, I think everyone is to some degree, just limit your time outside today. We also have an excessive heat warning continuing through this evening, daytime highs across the inland valleys from about 95 degrees up to 108 degrees. Now, if you're closer to the coast or in the Santanez Valley, we still have the heat advisory in effect through nine o'clock tonight. Daytime highs across this region from the mid eighties up to 105 degrees. Very important, I remind you of these preparedness actions. Stay hydrated, that means drink plenty of water. Stay in the shade, check on neighbors, stay in rooms with air conditioning, especially if you're in the inland valleys. And like I said earlier, just limit that time outside. Here's a look at your daytime highs. I think you'll notice that we are trending down by a few degrees today, especially for parts of those inland valleys. 104 for Paso, 98 for Slow. Santana's Valley, 101 up to about 107 degrees. But Cuyama getting out of those triple digits today and California Valley not too far behind. You can see for the five cities region, we're still ranging from about those mid 80s to the low 90s. I would say some nicer, cooler weather along the North Coast. Temperatures there right around the mid to upper 70s. Stay cool out there and just take care of yourself on this Thursday. I'll send it back to you. Thanks, Brooke.